Hello guys, it's Call of Duty Owning 123 here, and I'm back with another Minecraft video for you all. Um, today I've got something quite special that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to showcase uh, in my own Minecraft world that I've got here, um, my very efficient, very quick uh, mob spawner that you can also use as an XP farm and a mob grinder. Right, so to get down there, um, I quite literally just made a tunnel up and then used water ladder to get up. Um, so we're just going to go down into the main chamber. Shouldn't take long. I've also got this connected up to a minecart system which leads to my base. Kind of helpful, but yeah. Um, here we are. This is the actual mob spawner itself. As you can see in here, I've just got a chest for all of the items that you gather. Minecart system, going to my base. Lever, which I'll show you what it does in a minute. This is where you actually kill the mobs. And here is a door for maintenance. Right. So what I'm going to do here, and what has probably been happening, is I'll just let me check. Yeah, I'll put that on to normal for the purposes of yourself. And if I just turn up my sound. Yeah, I can hear, and there will be very soon, um, some skeletons spawning all the way down there in my mob spawner. They'll travel along, they'll be flung up, dropped again. They'll come down this chute here, land here, so that they've got one heart of health left, and then I can one-shot kill them. So, yep, yeah, there you go. As you can see, the first skeleton just dropped down, and now, if I hit once, I get the kill, and therefore I get the XP, etc, etc. And as you can see, now that I've been standing here about a minute or so, um, well, probably not a minute, but about that, um... They're starting to spawn quite rapidly. Uh, in the exact measurements that I've done it, uh, they should spawn four every 30 seconds or so. Uh, so at that rate, if you're getting all of the XP from all of them from one hit, um, you should be gathering up XP very, very quickly. So yeah, now you've seen how that works, I'm going to take you into kind of the maintenance area and show you what's actually going on. So if I break down, oh, whoops, sorry, went one a bit too high there. Yeah, here we are. Um, so you fly inside here. Let me just put some torches down so you can see what happens. Right, so what you've got here, you've got this mob spawner. Uh, either side, you've got water gushing down into this kind of channel, and the mob spawner is connected to the roof with a massive pillar. The reason for the pillar is so that the mobs don't simply spawn on top of it and then not flow down, so they are forced to spawn in this area around here. Then what happens? The water pours down, and they get no matter where they land, they get washed down into this channel. As you can see, I've built this... Um, this wall channel so that it goes just down far enough uh, for them to spawn whilst I'm still at the spawner. I don't have to run up here every time I want them to spawn. And yeah, that's kind of the inner workings of the spawner itself. So now I'm just going to leave this room. And oh gosh, the water's dragging me around. Also, oh gosh, the water really is dragging me all over the place. I, I want to climb through. Okay, got it. Right, so now if I... Close up that hole there. Then I go down. As you can see here, there is another tunnel going upwards. Now, at the end of that tunnel, what happens is they get taken into a long tower made up of single water blocks with then a sign block on top of that, then a water block on top of that. Because mobs always jump no matter where they move. Uh, it will start to jump up, it will reach the water, it will climb up through the water, reach the sign so it doesn't die of drowning, and then it will get pushed up and pushed up and pushed up to the top um, into this area here. As you can see, they've just come up this system exactly. Then the height of this tunnel is uh, 22 blocks, which which means that mo because mobs die uh, if they fall 23 blocks or more. So if you make it 22 blocks, and they'll fall, and you'll be able to one-hit them no matter what. So they get pulled up here, dragged along, and then they drop down. And if we head on back down to here. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, and you can see those ones that were floating across have landed. And I can kill them and gain all their items and XP and stuff. Uh, I'd say that having a chest is a very good idea. So you can deposit all of your bones and 
bows that you get from doing this. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic idea of the mob spawner. Another kind of thing that I modded myself, uh, I'm sure that there are other people that have done it, but um, kind of a groovy idea is this lever. As soon as you push the lever, oh gosh, just realized what I've done there. Because uh, I'm in creative, I've kind of destroyed the lever. That was a bit of a fail. Um, if I just put that, change my game mode back. Oh, game mode. Yeah, there we are. So now I'm in survival. And now when I push the lever, they all die. And you think, what the hell's happened there? See, this lever actually goes to these pistons here. So when I flick it, the pistons move the blocks out, squishes the skeletons, and then they die of suffocation. Doing this, it means you don't get the XP, but when you just want to kill them all in a hurry, uh, and you still want to get the items, you can just destroy all of them at once. So yeah, that's the uh, whole mob spawner that I have built. Uh, this will work with any type of mob spawner, I believe, zombies and skeletons. You'll probably need to make the pathway a bit wider for um, spiders, but that, that's kind of a, a blueprint that you can adapt to your own styles and perhaps work on and send me your ideas if you have any better ones. So yeah, thank you for watching my video today. I've been Kodo123. Please like, favourite and subscribe. Uh, and also, if you want to see me make one of these from scratch and give an in-depth tutorial about the number of blocks that they needs to be and stuff like that, uh, please just give us good feedback, a couple of comments, some likes, subscribe to us, and I will know to make a tutorial which will come out very soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.